Well, Newport News Public Schools is getting ready to bring students back to the classroom. And tonight, the school board gave the green light to a plan to return some of those students to in person learning. Then, your side's Kara Dixon was there tonight and has this update. The school board listened to a lengthy and in depth return to learn plan that went over everything from schedules to how to mitigate against the spread of COVID. And despite the opposition up for the Education Association and some board members, the plan was passed. I have to say, I'm pretty disappointed they took this vote tonight. And Mary Voss and other teachers in the audience felt their voices should have been heard more. The district voted to start bringing back special needs and some English learner students for in-person instruction on October 19th. All the parents are not necessarily uh, uh, going uh, going to bring their kids back to school, but they're saying give us the option of our, the kids who really are in need of that help being able to come back to school. The plan discussed how things like busing, class design, and health safety protocol would look. Many on the board say they've been inundated with parents asking for the younger students to be brought back into class and that a decrease of recent COVID cases makes this an opportune time to try to do just that. This is as low probably as we get. But Voss doesn't understand why they should risk safety if cases are expected to go back up. The board members were even saying this is the lowest COVID cases are going to be. Like, they're going to increase during flu season. Then why are we bringing kids back? Like, I just, I was disappointed that a vote was rushed like this. Teacher Chanel Hurt also agrees. She says many of them share concerns about their own health, and just because it's a new school year, their opinions about the virus haven't changed. Yeah, a lot of them are just saying that's not what was in their contract. They didn't sign up for it. And I think at the very least, all they would like is some transparency and an actual seat at the table. The superintendent says the plan is fluid and will depend on the COVID data that they are collecting over the next couple of weeks, but their plan is to get students from pre-K all the way up to eighth grade back into the classroom a couple of days a week by the middle of November. In Newport News, I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.